We attended the 2019 Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta. It was nine days of balloons from October 5th to October 13th. They have an early morning and evening program each day depending on the weather. We were lucky there was no rain so the balloons flew seven days. They were grounded for two mornings but that's fine because the morning glow, which is awesome, takes place on the ground and happened every day. It was amazing to see literally hundreds of hot air balloons all in one place. It is said that the Balloon Fiesta is the most photographed event in the world, which is very believable. This video is all balloons. Our next video will cover the side trips we took, which were also pretty fun. Hi, good morning everybody. We're at the Balloon Fiesta. This is the first day in Albuquerque. First time we've been here. We got here probably about 5.30 this morning and we got here a little early actually seeing yeah. a few things but um, we saw the morning glow a couple of balloons have taken off but mm -hmm. we're waiting for this row of balloons to take off the weekend crowds were huge but you could still walk around among the balloons and see how it all worked the variety of the balloons was amazing sorry if i overused that word but it fits this bucket list event While it may not seem so from the video, this event is very organized. Each balloon is assigned a takeoff spot to allow the crew to inflate the balloon and take off safely. There's a safety person assigned to each balloon that must approve it before it takes off. The balloons and pilots are regulated just like airplanes. With no real facts, I would say that the majority of the balloons are solo hobbyist pursuits, some with sponsors. There are also a good number of commercial balloons that offer rides during the show. Of course, show prices were pretty expensive, I think $450 per person.
foggy. Yeah. Our RV was parked in the south RV lot, which was over a mile walk from the main balloon field. We walked most of the time, but there were shuttle buses running during each event. Several mornings we just stayed in the camp area as we had a great view right from home. <laughs> really? It was pretty cold several mornings, so it was nice to be close to home. We enjoyed being part of the Escapees RV group. They did a good job keeping us informed and very well fed, which is why we walked so much to burn off the calories. The most photographed event in the world. Uh -huh. I was wondering if you could count every picture that everybody is taking. <laughs> oh my gosh. Days. Yeah. Curry. Well, I mean, we're going to have 1,500, oh, I'm yeah. sure. Poor Joe. Get to the <laughs> it's so cool that they're all digital because you take as many as you want and you just delete them. Yeah. yeah. The morning event started with a few balloons going up very early to test the winds. Then the morning glow, awesome, followed by hundreds of balloons taking off and flying around. The evening offered an evening glow with airplanes, skydivers shooting fireworks, and then a pretty nice fireworks display. We mostly did the evening shows from the RV park with a glass of wine. Balloon people seemed to be incredibly nice. Everyone was out there to have a fun time. It's a pretty expensive hobby from what we learned. You could easily have $50,000 tied up in the balloon, the basket, the propane burners, the tanks, and of course a lot of loads of propane. Then you need a trailer with a truck or van to pull it around with. You also need a ground crew to follow you around to load up the balloon after it lands, which is never a certain spot. There were a few minor balloon accidents this year, but the pilots make things look pretty easy. But if you think about it a little bit, they're flying with only the ability to add or subtract hot air to go up or down. It's very dependent on the winds, which can be different at varying heights. When yeah, bigs fly, I did get a couple of pictures of it yesterday. Yeah, I'd love for it to fly right over us. He came past yesterday. He was a little inside because the button turned towards us. That's Flojo Rising. So there's your black sheep again. Yeah, yeah then I can see where it is. That's the our stage camera. Our stage camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't see it right after the stage. I don't think even my, my telephone was in the even filling the balloons on that crowded field takes a lot of experience. It seems so easy to burn that nylon with all those hot flames. It's Thursday morning and it's kids day. Kids day, there's a yellow flag up, so nothing really has happened yet. Some of the balloons are starting to blow up. Yeah. Which is much later than yesterday, but... The Dawn Patrol has not gone up yet, so that's usually the first thing that happened. Overall, I have to rate this an excellent event. In addition to the awesomeness of the balloons, 
You meet lots of interesting RV folks, and for us it was the first time we had dry camp for 10 days. It was a great test for our water management skills. We needed to fill our water and dump our tanks in the middle of that time. It was kind of expensive there. They charged 30 bucks for each service. It was also a great test for our solar system, and we were very happy with the results. It was cool enough that we didn't need to use air conditioning, which allowed our solar and batteries to power all of our 12 volt and 120 volt needs without using the generator at all for nine days. Excellent day. Well, we're leaving the balloon fiesta and you can see the balloons come over the campground again this morning. It's very nice. We are so far moving smoothly. Um, no real major traffic jams yet. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.